The Ring Girls are nothing short of an institution within the world of combat sports, and over the years, some of these women have become just as well known as many of the fighters themselves. So, with that in mind, for today's video, we're going to give you an insight into 10 of the most influential UFC Ring Girls in the promotion's history. Jenny Andrade Jenny Andrade has become an integral part of the UFC's visual spectacle as a ring girl. Hailing from Brazil, Andrade was exposed to the vibrant world of combat sports at a young age. With a passion for the spotlight and a natural grace, she sought out opportunities to showcase her talents. It was this drive that led her to the doors of the UFC in 2013, where she would ultimately find her calling. Outside of her role as a UFC ring girl, Andrade is a multifaceted individual with a variety of interests. She's a model and a television personality, gracing the pages of magazines when she's not introing the rounds at blockbuster events. It goes without saying that Andrade is a huge fan of mixed martial arts, so much so that she even got a tattoo specifically to commemorate her work with the UFC. With a decade-long stint under her belt and no signs of slowing down, the name Jenny Andrade is certainly one of the first that springs to mind when you think of the promotion's Octagon Girls. Vanessa Hansen Originally from Los Angeles, Hansen grew up immersed in the diverse culture of Southern California. With her stunning looks and captivating presence, she caught the attention of modeling agencies at a young age. It was her talent and unique allure that paved the way for her entrance into the world of the UFC. She is of Mexican, German, and Norwegian descent, which is a pretty crazy mixture, don't you think? Hansen's journey into the UFC began when she participated in a US Open surf competition designed to identify new faces to represent the organization as guest ring girls. Since earning what seemed like a temporary spot, Hansen quickly became a permanent fixture, holding her positions for years afterwards. Outside of the UFC, she has appeared in various magazines, fashion events, television shows, and even music videos, solidifying her status as a sought-after personality. Carly Baker Carly Baker is another major name within the number of ring girls to have emerged over the years, and I guess it wouldn't be controversial to call her the most famous British export in the field. Born and raised in London, Baker developed a passion for entertainment and performing arts at a young age. Her diverse background, which includes training in dance and modeling, provided her with a solid foundation for a career in the spotlight. She even made her first break in the modeling world when she was just 14, before making an appearance in the Miss Great Britain pageant shortly after. Baker's entry into the world of the UFC came through her participation in a talent search conducted by the organization. Her striking appearance, magnetic presence, and captivating stage presence immediately caught the attention of the judges, ultimately leading to her selection as a UFC ring girl. Beyond her role as a ring girl, Baker works as a personal trainer using her social media platforms to push positive ideas about fitness and overall health. Red De La Cruz Red De La Cruz is one of the major rising talents within the ring girl trade. Hailing from the city of Manila in the Philippines, De La Cruz's journey into the UFC is a testament to her charm, hard work, and unwavering passion for her craft. And that might sound like overkill, but De La Cruz was still working a 9-to-5 job in a data company in Sydney while on the UFC roster for several events per year. In her own words, she lives two separate lives, and her success as a model and ring girl hasn't gotten in the way of her perspective on the bigger picture. She won a competition with a talent scout in 2015 who was looking for new additions to the UFC's lineup. And the rest, as they say, is history. Beyond being a ring girl, Dela Cruz is an accomplished model and influencer. She uses her platform to promote positive body image and self-confidence, inspiring her followers to embrace their individuality. Additionally, she's actively involved in charitable endeavors, using her influence to support causes close to her heart. Listen to any Red Dela Cruz interview and you'll no doubt catch glimpses of her positive mindset and her attempts to pass her ambitious attitude over to her fans. Very first time. Uh, hello, uh, I hope to see you there with Ariani. Remember, if you're enjoying this content, let us know by hitting that like button before subscribing to the channel so you don't miss a single upload. Don't be like Khabib, get on board now. Amber Nicole Miller. 
Amber Nicole Miller was truly a trailblazing force in the earlier days of the UFC, starting into her role as a ring girl before Dana White had even taken the reins. Her time in the spotlight began at the age of just five, where she appeared on the Disney Channel alongside Olivia Newton-John. Raised in Colorado, Miller always seemed to be destined for fame and fortune, and after gaining attention from industry insiders, she eventually moved to Las Vegas, where she ended up dating the UFC legend Tito Ortiz for a time. She made made her first UFC appearance at UFC 34, where Matt Hughes defeated Carlos Newton by slamming him into the mat. You remember that one, right? She spent a couple of years with the promotion, including working with The Ultimate Fighter, before eventually making her last ring girl appearance at UFC 60. Miller is also an accomplished model, actress, and businesswoman. She has appeared in various publications and television shows, most notably on the E! Entertainment channel, further cementing her status as a multifaceted talent. Additionally, she is actively involved in charitable endeavors using her platform to support causes close to her heart. Brooklyn Wren Brooklyn Wren is a modern addition to the UFC's roster who signed on to be a ring girl in 2017 and has been a major part of their pay-per-view lineup ever since. Wren's introduction to the UFC, like so many others, came through her extensive experience in the modeling industry. Her unique combination of beauty, grace, and athleticism made her a perfect fit for the prestigious role of a UFC ring girl. Beyond her role in the UFC, Wren continues to excel in her modeling career, promote fitness and wellness, and make a difference through her fill Anthropic efforts. Her story is one that has led her to the very top of the trade, and so far, there is no indication that she's dropping off. Camilla Oliveira. Camilla Oliveira joins two of the yet-to-be-mentioned veterans of the ring girl business as the longest-standing members of the UFC family. Hailing from Brazil, Oliveira's journey into the realm of mixed martial arts showcases her stunning looks, charisma, and a strong work ethic that has earned her a prominent role in the sport. This year, she celebrated her 10th anniversary within the UFC, and by the look of things, her time with the promotion is showing no signs of slowing down. Born and raised in the vibrant city of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Oliveira embodies the energy and passion that defines her homeland. And to date, she is the longest serving Brazilian ring girl to ever do it. When she's not gracing the octagon, Oliveira is passionate about travel and adventure, exploring new cultures and experiences that enrich her worldview. Despite her fame and fortune, Camilla continues to embrace a holistic lifestyle, motivating others to prioritize their physical and mental well-being. She's a veteran at this point and one of the most recognizable faces in the business. Luciana Andrade Friday. Another Brazilian ring girl to have made a major splash in recent years is Luciana Andrade. But she's no one-trick pony either. No, this 2014 debutante is also a lawyer by trade, something she very proudly posts about on her social media platforms. Andrade has been pretty vocal as well about misconceptions about ring girl pay, especially in comparison to fighters. And in general, as a podcast host as well, she definitely is one of the more vocal and multi-talented members of our list. Originally from Curitiba, Brazil, Andrade's entrance into the UFC marked a significant milestone in her career. With her engaging presence and ability to connect with fans, she became an integral part of the UFC experience. She has made appearances on some of the biggest fight cards of all time, and she is without question one of the most instantly recognizable faces within the world of the ring girls. Brittany Palmer Britney is just about as synonymous with the role of ring girl as anyone to have ever done it, or at least with the exception of the final entry to our list. For well over a decade now, Palmer has been operating at the highest levels in her field. This three-time Ring Girl of the Year award winner is known as a longtime student of martial arts who actively trains in the sport's many fighting styles. She also lives a highly active lifestyle, enjoying surfing, snowboarding, and skateboarding in equal measures. She actually joined the UFC through a spot in the WEC first, the now defunct promotion that brought us the likes of Jose Aldo, Dominic Cruz, Uriah Faber, Donald Cerrone, and more. And to this day, she is most certainly the second most famous ring girl in the sport. Of that, there is little doubt. Ariane Celeste. And finally, we come to the most famous ring girl of them all, a woman who has been synonymous with the profession for nearly two decades. The last 17 years have very clearly been the Ariane Celeste era of the ring girl game. Since joining the promotion in 2006, Celeste has won numerous awards for her work, stepped in front of the camera for numerous TV shows related to the sport, and branched her career off into modeling and broadcasting outside of MMA. She basically is the first name that springs to mind whenever the job 
has mentioned. And even now, in 2023, she remains a core component of the UFC experience, with even casual fans of the sport being fully aware of who Ariane Celeste is. That's one hell of a resume right there, and there's no one who embodies the Octagon Girl title quite like this longtime queen of the profession. Anyway, that will just about do it for this video. Remember to show your appreciation by leaving us a like and a comment before hitting the subscribe button so you'll know when our next video drops. We'll see you for the next video.